Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you have last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I am eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hey everyone. Hi. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hi everyone. So happy to meet you all again. Very happy to see all the smiling faces. And Yes, I see all the pretty smiling faces over here and I'm very happy to meet you all again. We had lots of fun in the previous class, right? I saw all of your submissions and I was so happy to see how creative you people are. Yes, how creative. I was so happy to see all of your paintings and your submissions. And I was just thinking that how supremely talented all my children are. Yes. So I know you all enjoyed the previous class and since you all enjoyed the previous class, I'm back with another class today. So do you know what class do we have today? Quickly give me a thumbs up if you know what, do, what class do we have today. Quickly, the chat section is all yours and quickly give me a thumbs up if you know what class do we have today. Yes, I'm waiting for all of your thumbs up. Quickly. Yes, I see you all giving the thumbs up and the class that we have today is a beautiful and simple summer beach landscape with watercolors, right? So again, we are going to make use of watercolors in today's class and we are going to paint a very beautiful summer beach landscape. So before we just begin with the class, you all know what I ask for, right? There are two things that I always ask you all to do. So do you remember those two things? Yes. Do you remember those two things that Neharika ma'am always ask all the dear kids? Yes. Yeah, that's true. I ask all of you all to make your submissions on time. And second, invite all of your friends. So since you all are my dear children, you all make your submissions on time. I'm very happy for that. And everybody who's new over here, just make sure that you're making your submissions on time. I'll be really happy if you make your submissions on time. And I personally have a look at each of your submissions. So I know who is making all the submissions on time. Yes, so you don't want to miss a chance, right? So you all have to make your submissions on time. And secondly, all of you are going to invite your friends. So you all can enjoy together. So you can call your friends, tell them that there's a class going on YOLO and we can together enjoy it. 
Okay, so the next time if you have not invited your friends in today's class, next time I want all of your friends to join in. I see many of your friends joining in in today's class and others who have not invited your friends, you're truly going to invite your friends in the next class, isn't it? Yes, so quickly give me a thumbs up if you're going to remember the two things that I said. One was making the submissions on time. Second, to invite your friends. Quickly give me a thumbs up if you're going to remember this. Yes, quickly, thumbs ups coming in. I'll give you five seconds now. All the thumbs ups coming in that you have to remember about making your submissions and inviting your friends, right? So that we can together enjoy all the activities on Euro, right? So we already know the procedure of making the submission. It would be repeated again. Don't worry about that. But before that, quickly give me a thumbs up if you're going to make your submissions and going to invite your friends in the next class. Yes, I see the thumbs ups coming in. Very good. Awesome. So don't worry. I would be discussing all the materials that we require in today's class. Okay, so are you ready for today's class? Yes, I am ready for today's class. Quickly now, give me a final thumbs up in the comment section that you are ready for today's class. Give me thumbs up and tell me that yes, Nihaka ma'am, we are ready for today's class and let's get started with today's class. Yes. All the thumbs ups quickly coming in and all my power packed kids are ready for today's class. Yes. Shall we begin? Awesome. So let me just share my screen with you all and let's get started with today's class. It's going to be a fun time painting a summer beach landscape. Okay, so just hold on for a moment. I'll share my screen and we will all get started. Yes. So can you see my screen now? Yeah, you all can see the screen now and let's get started for today's class. So first, let us quickly discuss all the materials that we need in today's class. So first, you need a white paper, a white drawing paper, an A4 size white paper or a smaller size of paper totally works. Whatever be the size of paper, it's totally fine. Just make sure that you have a plain white sheet of paper for this. Okay, so I've just taped down the sheet so that it doesn't move, but you can completely skip this process. You need not tape it down on the table. I've just taped it down so that it doesn't move. Okay, so white sheet of paper. Next, we need some paints. So here I'm using these watercolors for today's class. And these are the watercolors that we are going to use. But listen to me carefully now. If you don't have watercolors, it's totally fine. You can use your crayon, you can use your oil pastels, you can use your color pencils. It's totally fine. But if you have paints, if you have poster paints, if you have watercolor paints, just make sure that you are making use of paints in today's class. But if you don't have paints, there's nothing to worry about. You can use your crayons, your wax crayons, your oil pastels, your color pencils, your plastic crayons. Anything would work totally fine. So don't worry if you don't have watercolors. You can still enjoy today's class. Okay. So the second material that I will be using is some colors, some paints. But you can also use crayons. Yes. Okay, so these are the paints. Next, if you're going to use paint, you need a brush also, right? So this is a thick brush that I'm going to use, a thicker one, a thick round brush is what I'm using. So if you're going to make use of paint, you also need a brush. So it's okay now if you don't have a thick brush, if you have a thinner brush, that's totally fine again. So if you're using paints, you need your brushes as well, right? So Everybody who's making use of crayons, you don't need your brushes, but everybody who's making use of paints, all of you all need your brushes with you. Okay, so that was the brushes. A thick brush would work fine for the workshop. Okay, next you need a container which has water. 
a container with a water with a little bit of water just to clean your brushes and get the paint yes so everybody who is making use of paints again we need a jar of water a container that can hold water and the next thing and the last thing that we need is a black sketch pen so it could be a black sketch pen it could be a permanent black marker any of these two would work totally fine so just make sure that you have all of these art materials or if not all of these you have a close substitute of this art material so you need a paper you need some colors it could be paints it could be crayons pencil colors or pastel wax crayons anything just to color next if you are using paints you need some brushes and you need a water container and finally you need a black sketch pen and a black permanent marker so either a black sketch pen or a permanent black marker anything with a black ink would work totally fine for this session okay awesome so this was all the material that we need for today's class and let's get started with today's class now so we have discussed all the materials now and i see all of you are ready with all of your art materials so let's get started with today's class okay all right these are the materials that we need and then just take the water container dip your brushes inside the water container just wet your brushes and then the first color that we are going to take is orange color right we are just wetting the paint adding a little bit of water to the orange color orange paint and then just wet the paint nice and fresh and just start painting on the top side of the paper so keep adding little bit of water to your paints and start coloring the top side nicely and cleanly so you can add water in your paints so that you have a clean consistency of it and just start coloring the top portion so you see i'm just coloring the top portion of it so it leave no white gaps completely color it if you're not using paints take your orange oil pastels or your orange plastic crayons or wax crayons and start coloring from the top side okay so again i'm just wetting the paint taking more of the paint and i'm again painting it so we don't have to color the full page okay so don't be in a hurry you have to be in line with what i am doing so gradually we will move towards the bottom side but not with the same color so nice and fresh we are just coloring from the top till approximately the center of the page with orange color so if you don't have orange color it's totally fine you can make use of yellow color or you can make use of a lighter shade of orange if you have you can even use red color if you don't have yellow shade so i'm making use of an orange color over here if you don't have orange you can use yellow or you can use red okay so just half side of the page that i'm coloring nicely with orange color and i leave no white gaps in middle so completely coloring it nicely with orange paint and just filling all the gaps of here okay so you can add a little bit of water and quickly fill in all the gaps that we have over here so you see how i've just colored the half side of the sheet yes so i'm just filling the white gaps and i'm not leaving any white spaces nice and clean i'm just coloring half page with orange color yes you see that so if you see any white spaces again just go back and just color it nicely without any white gaps okay okay so if you see we have just painted the half side of the paper so just half side of the paper with one color that was orange color and then the other half of the paper the other side the half side of the paper we are going to make use of another color so let's get started with the other side as well okay 
So now the second color that we are taking is nice fresh blue color. So again, as I said, we add a little bit of water to our paints adding a little bit of water to our paint so that they are wet enough and we have a flowy consistency. And then we start coloring on the other half. So the first half of the page was orange color. The second half is going to be blue color. So please be neat when you do this. You don't have to overlap the orange color. Only on the other half of it, on the other half of the paper, we are just going to nicely fill it with blue paint. Or if not, uh, if not blue paint, then blue crayons or oil pastels, as I said. Okay, so nicely again, without leaving any white caps in the paper, we just nicely color the other half of it. So nice, fresh blue paint, and then we just color it. So see how beautifully I'm just covering all the edges and all the white spaces with blue color. So you can use dark blue, you can use light blue, it's perfectly your choice. So nice and clean, you just color it with blue paint. So half side was with orange paint, the other half was with blue paint. Okay. So for everybody who is making use of paints, now you need a little while for the paint to dry, right? So don't worry. We wait for five minutes to, for all the paint to dry up before we move to the next step. Before that, let's have some quick question and answer session. What do you say? So whatever questions I ask, you have to quickly answer me in the comment section, okay? You can give a thumbs up if you want, or you can tell me something in the chat section if you want. You can also type over there, okay? So my first question to all of you over here is that, have you ever been to a beach? Yes, have you ever been to a beach? Quickly give me a thumbs up if you have been to a beach. Yes, if you have been to a beach, quickly give me a thumbs up in the chat section if you have been to a beach. Yes, I see all the smiling faces also and giving me thumbs up saying that they have been to the beach. Yes, so did you all enjoy on the beach? Yes. Okay, so I see most of you all have been at the beach and I see all the smiling faces also. So that means you all have enjoyed a little bit on the beach. For everybody who has not visited the beach yet, don't worry, we we'll just draw it and try visiting it. What say? Yes? Okay. So that was my first question, which I asked, have you ever been to a beach? Now, the next question that I have, for all those who have been at the beach, give me one thing that you have seen at the beach. One thing that you saw at the beach. Quickly write it in the comment section. Let's see who gives the answer first. Yes. How many of you all have been to the beach was the first question now. If you have been to the beach, if you have been to a beach, what did you see over there? Okay, so I see someone saying sand. Okay, you saw sand. Second, what did you see there? Yes, now I see. We see water over there. So we see sand at the beach. We see water at the beach. What, what more can you see at the beach? Let's decide what can we add at the beach now. So sand, then we have water at the beach. What next? Come on, quickly, in the chat section now. Yes. Absolutely. So we see, we also see a coconut. That's true. We see coconut trees at the beach also. Right. We see coconut trees. How... How smart you people are. You remember everything that you saw on the beach and all of you are quickly typing in the comment section. Yes. 
the coconut trees also we also see birds yes we do see birds at the beach also so we see sand we see water and there are some coconut trees there are birds you also see the sun over there very true and we see a boat at the beach yeah sometimes you can see a boat at the beach also okay so so many smart kids answering all the questions in the chat section and i'm so happy for that so by now i think all of your paint must have dried and if it has not dried do not touch it right now so if your paint has not dried yet it's okay you can wait for your paint to dry and then you can complete the painting okay so till then you can just follow or you can just watch what i am drawing over here okay my paint has already dried now so let's get started with the next step so now it's time that we all take our black sketch pen or the black permanent marker that we need so i'm making use of a black sketch pen over here you can also make use of a black permanent marker if you have or even a black sketch pen like me okay so i have a nice tiny small black sketch pen which with which i'm now going to draw something so don't worry i'll be repeating everything that we draw over here so first you can all observe what i'm drawing okay so let's get started with this step also so taking the black sketch pen and first towards the right side of the sheet towards the right side of the drawing sheet we are just going to draw a curve first so a curve line i'm drawing like a branch so this is my first curved line that i'm drawing and that is towards the right side of the sheet yes and then we are just drawing a second curved line but the tip of the two lines are meeting so there are two curved lines that i have drawn and then i'm just coloring inside the the two curved lines so the space between the two curved lines you can completely color it with your black sketch pen or a black permanent marker so just coloring it nicely So let's go back. Let's have a quick recap of it. So first curve line that I draw, and then I just draw a second curved line. This is my second curved line, and then I'm just coloring inside it. Just coloring it nicely, fresh and clean, without moving out of the two curved lines. you have to be neat in all of your artworks right so just be neat with all of your artworks move in one direction when you are coloring with your sketch pen okay so see how beautifully i'm just coloring inside the two curved lines and i'm not moving outside of it so we have all neat works in our paintings yes so these are the two curved lines and then i just colored inside it so now we are just going to yes i see somebody saying that this is a branch of a coconut tree you are absolutely right this is the branch of a coconut tree and now we are just going to draw the leaves of the coconut tree so there is a step that i am going to say so you all have to carefully listen to me okay so there is a first curved line that i draw from the tip of the two curved lines i draw one curved line again and then i draw a second curve line so the first curve line was on the right side and the second curve line was on the left side yes and then in between these two curve lines again we draw two curve lines so you see that so first two curve lines and then again two curve lines in between the previous two curve lines let me quickly repeat this process for you all okay so coloring it first nice and clean and then this is the first curve line on the right side then we have a second curve line on the left side and then again one on the right side 
and the last one again on the left side. So we have four curved lines over here from the tip of the branch and then we just draw these slant lines. You see how I'm drawing these slant lines? This is around the curved line that I'm drawing. So just drawing these curved lines again, these slanting lines again on both sides of the curved line. This one you can draw along with me. I'm just drawing these slanting lines on both sides of the curved line. So nicely you just draw these curved lines. And we are going to draw these slanting and the curved lines on all the branches that we have drawn. Okay, so let's get started with this one also and draw these slant lines on both the curved areas. Yes, so be neat with your work. Do not rush this process, go slowly with it. So you see how I'm drawing these slant lines? Yes, these are the leaves of the coconut tree. So you see those coconut trees have, those, have long leaves in the trees, right? Okay. So just drawing these slant lines for all the branches. So again, I'm just drawing the slant lines for the last branch that I have. For all the branches, you have to draw these slant lines. So these are nothing but the leaves of the coconut tree. So have you ever seen those coconut trees? Those, those have those long slant leaves. That's what we are drawing now in an easy manner. Okay, so if you see, we have a nice, beautiful, tall coconut tree standing on the right side of our beach. Yes? Okay, awesome. So now let's move to the next step now. I think all of you are done with your coconut tree. Let's move to the next step as well. Okay. So now we are just drawing some birds. We all know how to draw birds, right? We just draw those alphabet V. Yes, we draw those Vs. And that's simply how you can draw birds. So some birds in the sky, you can draw them randomly here and there. Some smaller ones, some bigger ones. So these are some birds which are flying in the sky. You, you told me that you saw birds in the beach as well. So I'm just drawing a few birds for you all, okay? Awesome. So there's a coconut tree. There are birds in the sky. Next, let's draw a boat now. So let's draw a boat which is sailing on the sea. And let's get started with the boat. So first, now the boat is going to be on the left side of the paper. So just carefully observe how I draw a boat. So first I draw a sleeping line. I draw a horizontal line first, a little above the blue area that I have. First a slant, uh, a horizontal line, that is a sleeping line. And then I just draw two curves again, two curves at the side of the horizontal ends. And then I just draw in these two lines with the help of a sleeping line again. So did you see how I draw the base of the boat? So first, this is the horizontal line. And then there are these two beautiful curves. And then there's a last sleeping line that we have. And then again, you have to color inside this area. So just nicely in one direction, color it. Color it with your black sketch pen so that we have a boat base ready. Okay, so nice and clean. I'm just coloring. Draw a small little boat. You need not draw a really big one, but just a small one that we need. Okay, I'm about to finish the boat now. 
So just give in your five seconds. If you have not completed it, just quickly complete this one. So just the base of the boat that we have created. And now we're just going to draw the top portion of the boat. So just draw a simple standing line, a simple vertical line on the left side of the boat. And then there's a simple slant line again. And then we just draw a sleeping line again. So you all know how to draw a boat, right? So that's what I've done over here. We have just drawn a small little triangle on top of the boat base. And we are coloring inside the triangle again. Nice and clean. Okay. So we have a nice fresh boat sailing on the sea now. Yes. Can you see that? Okay. Awesome. So see, I've just drawn the coconut tree. I've drawn these birds. I've drawn a simple small boat sailing on the sea. Yes. Okay, so I see some of you asking for the recap for the boat. So I'm just quickly repeating the process for you all. Okay. So first we draw a sleeping line. Then we draw these two curved lines. We join the two curved lines with the help of a sleeping line again. And we color inside the area. This is the base of your boat, right? Mm -hmm. So nice and clean. I just colored inside the boat without moving out of that area. Yes. So nice and clean. I'm just coloring inside. Coloring with the black sketch pen only. And then first we draw a simple standing line and then we just draw a slant line again from the tip of the standing line and then a small horizontal line. So you have a nice triangle on top of the base. And again we just color it nicely with a black sketch pen. See that was how simple you can draw a boat. A small tiny boat is sailing on the sea in the beach land. Okay, so we have our painting ready. We do have a painting ready now, yes. Awesome, so we just drew these beautiful beach landscape. We had a nice boat, we had a long coconut tree, we had some birds flying in the sky. And that was our nice summer beach landscape. Yes. So first we made use of paints and then we used our black sketch pen to simply just draw a few things that we saw on the beach. So we saw coconut trees, we saw birds, we saw a boat sailing on the sea. So that was the beach landscape that we have for today. And I think by now all of your paintings must be ready. Yes, so are your paintings ready? So if your paint was not dried, now if it is dry, since you have followed all the steps, you can go back, draw the coconut tree, draw the birds, you can draw the boat also, and just quickly click a picture of yourself with the artwork and how to make your submissions as well. Yes. So all of you are going to make your submissions on time because I'm waiting for all your submissions. Right after this class completes, I'm going to check all of your submissions and I, I'm really excited to see all of your submissions. So just make sure that you don't forget to make your submissions on time. You get two days of time to make your submissions. So complete your paintings, complete your artworks, submit it. And then just wait for the results. Yes. So all of you are so creative and talented. So all of you are going to make your submissions on time. Yes. Okay. So did you enjoy today's class? Was this a fun class? Quickly let me know in the comment section. Give me a quick thumbs up if you enjoyed today's class. Do you enjoy painting a nice, simple summer beach landscape? Yes. 
Yes, I see some thumbs up coming in. Okay, awesome. So this class is completed and now all of you just make sure that you are making your submissions and you're inviting your friends in the next class. Okay. So just make sure you attend all the activities happening on YOLO. It is a fun time. So all of you can learn different things. Okay. So keep enjoying all your classes on YOLO and keep making your submissions on time. Okay. So I'm waiting for all of your submissions. I'm going right now and checking that if you have made your submissions or not. Okay. Quickly make your submissions and hope you all enjoy your next class as well. Till then, please take good care of yourself. Wear your face mask if you're going out. Keep washing your hands regularly. And I will be back with a fun class next time. Okay? So do make your submissions so that I can come up with a few uh, amazing classes next time. Okay? All right. Super. So I'll meet you all in the next class now. Till then, all of you are going to make your submissions and take good care of yourself. Yes? Uh, everybody is going to take good care of yourself now. All right. Awesome. So I'll see you in the next class. Bye. Hi, everyone. We are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you have last attended, which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you have attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name and then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that and then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder. Your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I am eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class.